775. Look at the size of this truck. This is the, the Thrasher Beast. And uh, today it's on my at my house. We are desperate, well at least my wife is, for um, some heat and it's getting cold out. So everybody's got jackets on. Um, I am uh, on my third or fourth HVAC system and my wife is tired of me experimenting on the house. So we got Tony and his son Bradley helping and we're putting in new air handlers. And both Tony and I sell Mr. Cool now. And uh, he's a train dealer and technician, so that's his favorite. But uh, the Mr. Cool's worked out really well because of these line sets. Because of the pre-charged line sets, which I think are cool. But uh, anyway, what we're doing now is preparing. We took out the old air handler. It's been in my house for 20 years. And we're putting in a new Mr. Cool air handler. And this thing from can be... Uh, three ton or two ton it's dip switch settable and same with the condenser unit so we're going to put in uh, three condensers a couple three air handlers in my horrible crawl space so i'm very thankful these gentlemen are here and this is a, a universal air handler and they've already taken and put the, dr the drain pan was up here but the way the air's got to blow in my setup they had to move the drain pan down to here but you can see that it can go both ways so they make air handlers for all sorts of situations, updraft, downdraft, mobile home, and this is a universal three ton. All right, so it's a big project, and I'm glad these gentlemen are here. So if you need help, how far do you travel, Tony? We cover about 30 miles around South Greenville. 30 miles. It goes all the way up to about Traveler's Rest to... Anderson to Great Court to Spartanburg. All right, and they've got they've got you covered. Again, he's a he's a train guy, but he'll work on other things too. So anyway, you've seen Tony in my videos. He's been helping me with solar, and I wish I could say the same with HVAC, but he's got that covered. So uh, all right, we're gonna help. I'm gonna help these guys put this air handler in my wonderful crawl space. All right, so the condenser units condensing units have been set on their pads. We got a three ton, a three ton, and a 2.3 ton, 27K, 27,000 BTU mini split unit. That's going to go to three heads on my second floor. This unit does the original power of the house, and then this does my addition to my house. And again, these can be two ton settable too, but I'm setting them up as three ton. They're inverter based. You can see the inverter sticker on these Mr. Cool units. And uh, so everything's soft start, and so we're um, I'm making sure we have enough power over here. So we're running a, some SER cable from my panel to a, a panel back here, electrical panel, so I can service, have electricity for all of these three units. And uh, Tony is hooking up the line sets now to the first unit. We want to get that one fired up today and at least have one unit running. So um got to get power and then again and these are diys so they have the the piston built in to, these are 50 foot pre-charged line sets we're going to hide the extra line set up under my crawl space so you don't have to see the ugly coils outside and that's it so uh, and because my breaker panels within 50 was within line of sight i don't have to put pull disconnects for each one of the units uh, the breakers will be my dis point of disconnect. All right, well, let me get some power over here. These guys are boogieing, so they need some power. All right, we're taking a peek inside the Mr. Cool air handler. They come default set for three tons, and where are those dip switches to change it to two ton? I keep telling everybody about it, but I don't know where they are. Probably right here. Heat cool. Oh, yeah. So you can see those dip switch that settings right there. Mm. So it tells you what to set it to. And I'm not sure exactly. I just thought it was cool to be able to change everything from three tons to two tons, maybe to save some energy. Okay, so they're numbered one, two, three, four from that way to this way. So we turn it around like this. Oh, yeah. So one, two, three, four, two ton, you would do one up, two down, three up, four down. And then one up, two down, and this yep. one, one, two up, so the default three down, four up. Is matching the three ton settings. Yep. You can see that down there. Okay. 
Hey, we're starting to build the. These guys are building the plenum, and to do that, they're building. What are you guys doing? We building are couplings. Putting some flex duct together because you've got some short runs where you had some ducts. Oh yeah, yes, that's right. So we're having to extend those flexible ducts around to the return plenum. So we're going to build some couplings. We just took a piece of pipe. And those are the ones we cut. These are the ones that we cut. Okay. And you're just making them line, pretty. And we're making them pretty. This oh, is a you put on the look impact at gun. that. Crimson up. Made by Malco. Cover your ears. I never seen that gizmo before. How did that hit you? That that was nice on the ears. There it was. Right there. Cool. Nice. It's a lot faster. So, I mean, you got the mechanical ones too. Bradley's got them. So I had a critter get into my ductwork and destroy a lot of my ductwork. There's a mechanical one, a hand one, but that takes forever mm -hmm. compared to that. So they're rebuilding the plenum that the the possum got in and left all sorts of deposits and ruined. So I had to cut out ductwork, building a new plenum, putting new air handler air handlers in. And uh, you can see all this duct work I've got. We took out, I don't know what we took out, like probably 60 feet of duct that the critter got into. The We hired a duct cleaning service and they ran their cameras down in there. We wondered why our house was smelling so bad. Anyway, that's all getting replaced. Okay, a lot of progress has been made on getting our HVAC back in business. Um, even we built a new plenum added this three ton air handler the three ton air handler you can't see it there's another one back there so both air handlers are in this one's actually running now and uh pretty excited not as excited as my wife is but it's awesome so really nice work uh, condensates line drain lines are in they're working on just insulating the plenum right now I still have my wood boiler coils in here. That's these PEX lines go into the old coils because I can't help myself. So this is wired up a little differently than I've ever done it before. And I'll explain that later with the thermostat and how we're going to use this 24 volt valve to open and close um, the water to the radiators from the wood boiler. But we've been able to <laughs> lower the load a lot this thing only pulls little under I think it's two and a half amps the air handler there are no heat strips in this air handler it's just the variable speed um, blower motor so this unit and the condensing unit outside are only pulling 12 and a half amps for three tons and that's where I wanted to be with soft start about 12 amps and that's about as efficient as I think I can get right now with a heat pump technology. And that allows me, or allows you, to run your place off of solar a lot easier. So a lot of these have heat pump, heat strips in them that are just ridiculous. And would, um, if you don't turn them off, they would just uh, kick a breaker or trip your inverter. They would not be able to run them. So really where we live you don't need a lot of this new technology you don't need to have heat strips in your air handler all right i gotta get out of tony's way they they want to get out of here they've been working hard all day oh, oh there's bradley we better get out of here you guys ready to go home and yeah it's been a long day <laughs> long three days okay as part of the mr cool installation i have a the 27k diy system is handling I head in my loft and then over in two, two different bedrooms upstairs. So I have three heads working off of the 20, 27K DIY. And then I have an air handler universal unit here and a three ton universal here. Again, I was kind of nervous about going through my new roof, but it worked out really well. The nice line guards that Mr. Cool has allows me to kind of neaten that up and bring it down through the roof. And just hide all of the line sets and control wires and uh, condensate line so that worked really really well so as we're up renovating our house part of the big big part of it is the hvac and then in the basement i put another i put a one ton unit 
and I've got to kind of clean up a little dirty. But line guard, Mr. Cool, uh, one ton, 12K unit, super simple. The line set comes with this unit. On the butt larger units, it does not come with. So Mr. Cool is uh, doing a, several things for us, providing an, a cost-effective HVAC system. Everything is inverter-based. Um, the first one I put here, I've installed them and you've seen them on other jobs, but I put one on my power shed that I have a schedule on, that little uh, one ton there. And then I'm about to put a three ton unit on the barn where I'll have my office upstairs in the shop. I'm getting it insulated now. So three ton unit is going there. It's a 36K DIY and with an 18 kilo, 18,000 BTU head upstairs and an 18,000 down. That's the other cool thing you can mix and match head sizes 9ks up to 20 up to two tons from three quarters of a ton up to two ton different heads zone out your house and it's gonna be fun i'm gonna have uh, a lot of hvac i potentially have 14 tons of mr cool it's been a pretty good test lately i haven't turned on my wood boiler first time in 16 years so that's a little testimony to mr cool my wife's very happy that the house is comfortable and um, it was 22 below 22 below it was 22 degrees here it's been cold and um, and the mr. cools did just fine the house was a cozy 70 degrees or warmer up in the loft so the mr. cool works extremely well now uh, I'll show you the app that comes along with it is great so eventually I'll be able to control everything from my house to the power shed to the barn and possibly the metal warehouse behind it. I'm doing some experimental HVAC in that, so I might not put a Mr. Cool in my warehouse. But on the house, yeah, I'm putting that. And while I'm while I was taking time to put it in, it was hot this summer. Um, I bought Mr. Cool window units. These are inverter-based window units, and I bought four of them, and they actually kept the house really comfortable. Again, a lot of people don't like window units um because of the window kit and all of that but that little guy that's a one ton that allowed us to um be comfortable in the house it allowed me to kind of live because my wife was going to kill me if there was no ac in the house so we put i bought four of those and they were you know they're not bad they're like 350 dollars, and they work fantastic again inverter base i know eventually they'll have a heat pump window unit out and Mr. Cool has added cassettes for ceilings and so many other things. So I'm trying every single product Mr. Cool makes. We've done mobile homes. We've done the universal air, air handlers, universal condensing units, window units, single, single ductless systems, uh, multi-head ductless systems. So I'm trying everything. So what it does for me is it provides redundancy. If one compressor goes down, that's where I was before with a hydronic chiller. I loved it, it was a cool project, but if one thing went out, the entire house was down. I did not like that. And so I went a different route and I was able to buy, oh, sorry, what's up, cat? Um, I was able to buy all the Mr. Cool for a lot less money than a traditional system. And then the do-it-yourself line set was, uh, was what made it uh, me able to do it. Though I did hire uh, my buddy Tony, who is a licensed uh, train uh, HVAC technician, very good. So he helped me on uh, most of the work on the house. And uh, so he, even though he's a, you know, a cable to, of soldering and vacuuming and nitrogen chasing and all the things that an HVAC technician does and weigh in the amount of refrigerant, he actually thought that the, the do-it-yourself line sets were awesome. They saved so much time on an install. So anyway, the redundancy, the do-it-yourself line sets, we have a very comfortable home. And uh, so the Mr. Cool products um, continue to be a, a good move for us. And uh, so we do sell them, obviously. So I wanted to practice what I preach and actually run the units and make sure that it actually does work. And then stepping up to the Wi-Fi technology allows me to control everything remotely and that's really awesome and it's probably going to be used a lot when we probably schedule when we work in the office it might be you know have a schedule set up when we're not occupying the space that we adjust the thermostat accordingly but uh mr cool you did a really 
really good job and you continue to improve we're in the fourth generation do it yourself the i haven't had a failure of a line set yet everything's worked really really well so all right so let's let me show you the app okay one of the coolest things about mr cool is their wi-fi app their cool app for android or iphone and so all of the units that are capable of using the Wi-Fi thermostat, I have um, put on the app. So the first one I did was the power shed, which is my where the inverters are. And I can go in and change modes to cool, dry, fan, heat, however, whatever you, whatever you want. And then I can schedule, like the nice thing on this, I can actually put a schedule. And now I have different times based on the weather and what's going on in this power shed. I can schedule how I want to use the mini split. So that is awesome. And then I have my house kind of zoned out, which I really wanted to do. So I have guest bedroom upstairs. I can set temperatures and the loft and the, I got, you know, a basement. So, and I'm, I'll be adding some to our office and to the shop and we'll be up to 13 to 15 tons. Depends on how far I go with it. But we'll have about 13 tons of Mr. Cool products of all different sizes. My only, the only thing I'm not happy with, which I'm working on, they don't make a Wi-Fi thermostat for the Universals, the Mr. Cool Universal model. So I'll probably do a Nest um, or some type of Wi-Fi thermostat so I can also monitor and adjust that. But these are great. And I'm just, you know, happy that I can zone it out my son likes it warmer on one side my wife likes it cooler on the other side of the house so it's it's easy to zone your house when you have multiple heads multiple air handlers multiple compressors and don't forget about all the redundancy and if you have any questions let me know this is engineer 775 signing out